What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. So today I wanted to keep it simple and show you guys a haircut that's widely asked for and used, a razor fade. A cut that for me is very challenging, but we're gonna keep the lines tight and clean as possible. So hopefully you guys like it. If this is your first attempt on this haircut, start in the back so you can really get to know how your uh, client's hair is gonna react. And what I'm doing is I am starting in the nape area and I'm using the wall balder. The teeth have a better grip and it gets a lot closer uh, than even a zero. So I'm taking it down to as tight as I can first. Now what I'm doing is using a wall senior and on here I have just a zero and I'm blending out of where I left with the balder. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the same clipper and I've turned the lever up so it creates a half size. So from a zero, now I'm blending into a half. Now what I'm doing is I have a number one attachment on the clipper and I'm blending out of where I left off with the half. I want to continue to do this and blend as much as I can but I'm really not trying to go in on the fade. Now what I'm doing is turning the lever up so I create a half size larger so now I have a one and a half and I'm blending from the one where I just left off. So in this case what I'm doing is I'm starting at the bottom working my way up and just taking the bulk out. But the more often you do this you start to blend out the haircut already. Now with my number two guard what I'm doing is continue working my way up and this is typically where you would want to leave off depending on the type of style you're going with on your haircut. If you notice I'm pushing back the length and that's where I'm going to create the disconnection. Now just to freshen up below where we left off with the number two I'm using a one and a half and I'm blending just below where I left off. Now it's time to grab your favorite shaving cream. I fell in love with the shave cream from Johnny B the moment I got my hands on it. So what I'm doing is applying the product only on the parts of where you want to shave with your razor. There are so many products that work on the skin, but when it comes to razor fades, you definitely want to use something that nourishes the skin, maybe even add some smoothing sensation. Um, that way the client doesn't feel any type of irritation. Um, this particular product allows me to kind of glide through the scalp depending on where I'm going with it. And you notice how the razor is being shaved against the hair growth. Um, my client and I took a little bit of time getting uh, used to this type of style. Normally I would shave down a few times just like this, but after maybe five haircuts, uh, you can kind of build up the tolerance and your client should be able to um, handle shaving against the growth of the hair. After the shave, what you want to do is wipe off all the moisture so that way you can glide smooth on the scalp. What I'm using now is the wall detailer, which is going to be my trimmer of choice. And I'm blending right off the part where I left off with the straight edge. So that way I can start blending right into the fade. You'll probably notice a lot of us using the barber brush behind the chair. In between the haircut, what it really does is help to eliminate all that hair buildup so you can really see exactly what the surface looks like and continue blending. Now we're going to focus on some detail work and polish off the haircut. You might find yourself going in between the half, which is what I'm using, and now I just turned it to a zero. So that way you can polish off the haircut. But after you do that, then you move into a number one, and this is where I'm going to continue working my way up to the crown and continue the blend. The transition between the shave and the length left over really happens in this technique here when you go back and forth between a zero and a half. So don't feel you have to rush through it. If you see that there's weight lines, use your number one attachment just like this and blend it out. This look is still going to require some style. Even though we took the sides down to the skin, I really want to reshape the top and cut some length. I'm going to use our cutting lotion from Johnny B, which is just the gel. And I'm going to apply it throughout his hair just so I can hold the sections better. I hope you guys like the outcome.
another real quick tip when you're layering the haircut just make sure you comb out that corner piece and make sure it layers because if you leave that it's going to create a weight line and some like extra weight when your client's throwing their hair back or to either side For this look we're using Go Texture Cream. It goes on wet but it dries really fast. I enjoy using this when your clients have straight hair because you can style it out really quickly. Once you grab a comb and after you apply the hair product just really work through it and within seconds it's going to start to dry and really form the style that they want. After any shave, use an aftershave to really close the pores and tighten up the skin. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the razor shave. Remember to put those razors to work and get rid of those lines. Thank you so much again for, for the support. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.